Hello, my name is Alyosha Shigantiev and I will present you our work based on fatigue crack initiation and growth in two root of sintered gears. Purpose of this work was development of computational model for bending fatigue analysis of sintered gears, determination of the total fatigue life of sintered gears, analyze the crack path in a gear to root, and compare the results from previous work and experiment. Total fatigue life is divided into crack initiation and crack propagation as shown on the first equation. Computational analysis of the fatigue crack initiation period is performed using elastoplastic stress strain field in the ANSYS program package with the strain life approach. Computational analysis of the fatigue crack propagation period is determined with integration of Paris law are shown on equations below. As you can see, two geometrical models were made. First geometrical model consists of gear pair with frictional contact at the outermost single contact point, where friction coefficient equals to 0.04. Second geometrical model is simplification of the first one, where only pinion is used. It was designed due to limitations of the crack propagation simulation tools. The boundary conditions on model 1 and 2 were defined at reference points RP1 and RP2, which deformable connect the inner cylinder of the gear and the side cut surfaces as shown on the figures with orange. In RP2, there is fixed support in all directions of the coordinate system. In RP1, only rotation around its axis of the gear is free. Torque is defined on the RP1 and rotated gear around its axis. As you can see, the values of the torque for different load cases has been used. On model 2, at the most uh, outermost uh, single contact point, the defined force was equivalent to the torque transmitted via contact. The table below shows uh, torque and equivalent for force values. Static material parameters were found in the previous work and are shown below. And also multilinear isotropic hardening model was used. The element mesh for both models used tetrahedral parabolic finite elements where global size equals 0.4 mm. Since we expect important stress strain values in the Telsit zone of the tooth root, the local refinement with the size of 0.1 was used as shown on figures. Total number of elements uh, of model 1 is uh, 275,000 and uh, model 2 is uh, 194,000 elements. Since the crack propagation simulation tool require linear elastic material model, 3D model and only bonded contact, uh, geometric model 2 was used. Because of uh, simplification of model 2, equivalent for missile stress or gear thickness were measured in the two root for both models. As shown on the graph, the values are quite similar, so model 2 was used to calculate total fatigue life. Figures also shows the stress strain field which gives the maximum stress at the gears contact, which is irrelevant for our study, and at the root of the tooth where bending stress occur. So you can see the workload chart. First, as described before, the computational model was built in ANSYS program package. In first step, fatigue crack initiation period in tooth root was determined based on computational results of elastic plastic simulation. Then in the second step, crack propagation period was determined based on initial crack, computational model results of elastic simulation, and finding of first larger equivalent stress intensity factor range than critical stress intensity factor. 
and total fatigue life was then calculated based on the equation below and every step was repeated for every load case. The parameters of given sintered steel were found in the previous work in which only static material parameters and fatigue strength exponent and coefficient were given. The cyclic curve parameters were determined on the basis of uh, romberg osgoods equation. The fatigue to utility exponent and coefficient were also determined by uh, the literature. Given diagrams uh, shows the material models used. Since uh, fatigue crack initiation is based on the dynamic load, the stress ratio was set to zero. The results of the fatigue crack initiation period for load case at torque 33 newton meters are shown at the point of the maximum stress in the tooth root. The number of cycles to the initiation of the crack was read. On the graph, you can see the degradation of the curve where the lower torque means higher number of cycles to fatigue crack initiation. The computational model for crack growth used the Paris law, shown parameters found in the previous article, but uh, much attention had to be paid to converting units. A crack was created to analyze the fracture behavior using the arbitrary crack and smart crack growth tools. Uh, the initial crack was uh, 0.375 mm in length and was determined with equation below where rho defines uh, radius of the root of the tooth. The size of the finite elements around the crack steep was 0.05 mm and was meshed automatically as shown on the figure below. For each sub-step the program calculates a new crack initiation, thus it was possible to monitor the equivalent stress intensity factor range. Uh, the figure shows the sub-step at the initial length of the crack. As mentioned before, crack propagation was determined until equivalent stress intensity factor rate become larger than critical stress intensity factor. Based on the values of the equivalent stress intensity factor range for each crack increment, a polynomial trend line has been created in Excel. By inserting a critical stress intensity factor into a polynomial equation, the exact critical length of the crack was calculated. This polynomial equation was inserted in an integrated equation of the Paris law, from which number of cycles to failure was calculated for each load case. In the left figure you can see the critical length of the load case at the torque 33 newton meters. Then the total fatigue life of the pinion was determined by the sum of the crack initiation period and crack propagation period. From the left diagram it can be seen that the use of the fracture mechanics has a significant impact on the determination of total fatigue life, especially at lower loads. The results obtained were found to be comparable to those of the previous article and experimental results as shown on the right diagram. These uh, deviations may have uh, appeared due to differences in the definition of the computational model, the deviations between actual and theoretical material used, or precision of the measurements of the experiment. As you can see on the figures below, the crack and the length of the crack are quite similar. Thank you for your attention.